Demba Chiri Sherpa was a teenager when he first attempted to climb Everest 17 years ago. He lost five fingers to frostbite but reached the summit the following year. Since then, he's organized several expeditions and is well acquainted with the risks on Everest. Climbing is difficult above 8,000 metres, especially after Camp 3 and on the Hillary Step. Risks increase when you are close to the summit and exhausted. Since Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Sherpa became the first to stand on top of Everest 64 years ago, more than 4,000 people have climbed it. Nearly 300 people have died in the attempt, yet the mountain continues to draw climbers. Some of them are back this year after avalanches in 2014 and 2015 abruptly ended the season. Nepal's government extended their permits. The situation and crowds on the mountain are manageable. We haven't seen a significant increase in numbers compared to last year. It's a relatively normal season. An avalanche on the Kumbu icefall in 2014 killed 16 Sherpas. The following year, an earthquake triggered an avalanche that swept base camp, killing 19 climbers and injuring 60. Temba lost two Sherpa colleagues and several clients. But it didn't stop him organizing an expedition on Everest this spring. There's been hype about possible traffic jams on Everest, but this is talk. If expedition teams at base camp meet, coordinate plans and manage their ascents, I don't think there'll be a problem. And if predictions of an early window in the weather are correct, they don't have long to wait to see if they can add their names to the growing list of Everest summiters. Ramya Thalimbu, Al Jazeera, Kathmandu.